Hey, it's Alex from You Should Craft, and today I'll show you how to make the twisted single crochet. So the twisted single crochet um, is super easy to do. It's almost exactly the same as a regular single crochet, except that you twist it right before you finish it off. And when you put them together, it can create these cool ribbing effects. Um, you can also use it as a border like you would for the crab stitch. Um, and the look is actually really similar to the crab stitch except that the crab stitch you crochet backwards um, and it's a little bit tricky to get the hang of. And the twisted single crochet you crochet forwards just like regular crocheting. So you can use any hook, any yarn, any number of starting chains. Um, for this I'm just going to be crocheting on top of a project that I've already started. I'm using Lion Brand Pound of Love yarn and this is an I um, five and a half millimeter crochet hook. It's the cookies and cream streamlined swirl from furls. Um, this is one of my favorite hooks just cause it's so beautiful, but that's kind of an unrelated side, an unrelated sidebar. So once you've chained however many you want, um, you're going to lay down a row of basic stitches for this project. I've put down a row of half double crochets. Um, and then, so now we're going to start our actual twisted single crochets. So I'll chain one just like I would for a regular single crochet. I'll turn my work. So if you look, um, the twisted crochet background or like not background, the back <laughs> is just flat. It looks like just, um, regular single crochets, or in this case, um, these are half double crochets on the back because the twisted single crochets are only on the front. But so, I am going to go in the back loops only. Um, if you're using this as a border, you can use both loops, um, but putting your twisted single crochets in both loops would make it so you couldn't crochet anything else on top of them, um, which for me, since I'm working in a project with more rows, I don't want that. So I'm going to use my back loops only. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, um, if you look at the tops of crochet stitches, they have these V's. And so both loops would be going into the whole V like that. And back loops is just the one that's not closest to you. So this one is your front loop. And then these on this side are the back loops. So I'm starting my single crochet. Oh, and these are US terms. So I'm starting my single crochet just like I normally would. Um, put in my hook, yarn over, pull it through. And so here's the fun twisted part. So you're going to turn your hook a full 360 degrees counterclockwise. Um, now it's twisted. And then you'll just yarn over and pull through. And that's it. <laughs> That's your first twisted single crochet. So for your next one, put in your hook, yarn over, pull through, twist it up, one full turn, 360 degrees, yarn over and pull through both loops. And so you will just do that in the back loops of every stitch on this row. Um, I know that my crocheting is not <laughs> the same as yours. I've gotten some comments that tell me it looks a little bit more like knitting than it does like crocheting. So traditionally, if you were crocheting, um, you would be, your single crochets would look more like this. So you're yarning over, um, you're twisting again, that full loop, and then you're yarning over and here's your twisted single crochet. So there's not really like a right or wrong way <laughs> um, to do this, at least as far as I'm concerned. So whether you're crocheting like me or like the second way that I showed you, or if you have like totally a different way, as long as your stitches are ending up the same, <laughs> um, that's what really matters. So just make sure you're keeping your attention consistent. Um, attention really matters for this. I made kind of a wonky row in here just to show you guys, but if you look at this row right here, 
here on these wiggly parts, that's where my tension got really tight. And then so you can see it's like pretty loose up here and then really tight in here. And so it changed the texture. Um, and that's because I was messing around with different ways to hold my hook. Uh, but it, it's a good example for you guys to see like just <laughs> how much trying to have a consistent uh, tension will will make a difference in your projects. But so go ahead and finish all the twisted single crochets on this row. And then when you're done, you'll just chain one and turn. And I can show you right now, I guess, what you're going to do for your next row. So just imagine <laughs> that I've finished. And now I'm going to go in the back loops again, because now that I've chained one and turned, the former front loops are now in the back. And so for me, I'm using my, my basic stitch that I've chosen is the half double crochet for this project. Um, you could put anything here. You could mix it up with single crochets. Um, you could use double crochets in the middle. It doesn't really matter as long as it's like a simple stitch. But so I'm putting my half double crochets in the back loops and these are the ones that were behind my twisted single crochets. So these ones are the ones that you'll be seeing on the back of your project. And you can see them a little bit on the front. Um, like if you kind of smoosh aside <laughs> your twisted single crochets, so you can see your rows of half doubles under here. And this is just to kind of break it up. Um, and you can mix up how many rows of traditional stitches you're putting between these. So I'll bring it up in a sec once I finish this, but I have another project where I've been kind of varying the amount of standard rows that I put in between my um, twisted single crochets. But that's it. So here's just a little section to show you how to do it. And then again, here's the back. On the back, you're only seeing whatever simple stitch you use. So for me, it's those half double crochets. So on the back, it's just normal. Um, it has a little bit of that like ribbing on it just because of the way that we crocheted. But it's the front that really has all of that texture from our twisted stitches. Okay, so I brought over some examples just to kind of show you what you can do with the twisted single crochets. So this is the same yarn I was using before, Lion Brand Pound of Love, um, but I held two strands together. So this gives you like just a super chunky loop. Um, and I also spaced it out a little bit more. So instead of doing one row of half double crochets, this has multiple um, to space out that ribbing. Here is a hat that I made. Um, this is the Twisted Whims hat. You can get the free pattern on my blog. But I use the Twisted Single Crochets to create um, the texture on the brim of the hat. And here's kind of a swatch that I'm working on right now. I mean, it's not kind of a swatch, it like literally is. <laughs> but this one I'm putting several rows of single stitches. Um, these are just regular single crochets. And then I have two like back-to-back -back rows of um, the twisted single crochets. And so there's just, you can barely see it in there. But so I did a row of twisted singles, a row of regular singles, then another row of twisted singles. And then I spaced them out more. And so this has a lot of flexibility. Like I said, you could also totally use it as like a border on a project. Um, so if you use this stitch based on this tutorial, um, be sure to tag me on social media just so that I can see your projects and see what you've worked up. But let me know in the comments or shoot me an email if you have any questions.
But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the You Should Craft channel and follow along on the blog for free tutorials and patterns and just stuff to help you crochet better. But thank you so much.